you know, there are about 15 um, staff nurses who did not take the vaccine, and accordingly, they, they were deemed to have abandoned their jobs. There is one case among them who has taken the vaccine subsequently, but there apparently was there were some other issues involved with that. I said in that personal thing, that's a, that's a straightforward matter for them to resolve. They, they just have to go to the chief personnel officer and, and um, address that in a, in, a, in a very straightforward manner. Uh, and the Public Service Commission will deal with that. Then there, there are a couple of cases for those who have sought exemptions now, medical exemptions. And I say, well, that's a matter of the chief medical officer. You, you all just work on those. But the others, they, the president acknowledged that the position that the government took with the regulations was, was a reasonable position, and that. But she's saying, well, she's asking, well, why don't you take them back now in light of the fact that the COVID situation is not as serious as it was? Well, I'm happy that the Nurse Association acknowledged that our position was reasonable and this, the legislative framework we put in place is reasonable. Um, but we are not over the COVID yet. The WHO has not advised on this. CAF has not advised on this. The chief medical officer, the medical officer of health. There's, there's a lot at the moment. We're not out of the woods yet. You know, and, and I, I just simply asked them, I said, listen, there are five of you. Each of you got to get two of your friends or staff nurses who haven't taken the vaccine. So listen, we all take this vaccine. It hasn't done us any harm. Um, in fact, it has done us good and done the country good. Just take them now and, and um, take them and you, you go to the Public Service Commission. And uh, as I've indicated from day one, Johnny P, I have no objection. The posts are still vacant. I'm, I'm, for the nurses, no. They take the vaccine, they come back. I mean, it's, I, I don't, I mean, we have all these problems with, with COVID, with the volcano. We, we, we have all the climate change issues. We have the now increased prices uh, as a result of what's happening in the Ukraine. You know, these things, I don't know why, why we have to fight about these relatively very small things, Johnny P. Eh? And you're, you're, you're in the health services, man. Go on, go on, go on, um, take the vaccine. Uh. It, 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 it's such a, a reasonable position. Why would you want to be working in the health sector and don't want to take the vaccine? What's wrong in taking the vaccine? Right. Eh? <laughs> the, the, you're teaching people children. What's wrong with that? Remember, you know, the requirement which we put down for the vaccine was for a narrow group of workers, you know, Johnny P. Specially selected. Yes. Which 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 related to the you can't complain about police and prison officers and teachers and nurses and people who are front line at the port and the, the airports and the seaports. Huh? Okay. Right. You, you, so so I mean why, 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 listen, just take the vaccine and let's move on now.